I got the fans going. It's a nice hot day today. And look where Max is. Oh, so comfortable, isn't it, Max? Isn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, big yawn. Doesn't want to play, just wants to sleep. I needed to do something for the cats and also for uh, letting the heat out and getting better ventilation in the uh, hot summer days that's coming up. We actually had a few hot days over uh, 34 degrees a few days in a row a couple weeks ago. So I made this. I modified a cat proof screen that I got on Amazon. I'll put the link on and uh, it's velcroed in along the bottom to sides it has a zipper on it so I can open and close the door I haven't finished the top yet I want to get some blue vinyl because it wasn't quite tall enough and I didn't want to get one for a double patio screen door because it would be too big so I'm just going to put some blue vinyl that'll match the vinyl up there along the bottom and some snaps on the top so the tops will have snaps be velcro on the bottom and uh, as you'll see the cats love it they love the window, or I should say the screen. Look outside, some cool breeze. Best of buds. Well, I had a problem with my rear fan. It was uh, squealing like crazy. Uh, the bearings went in the uh, the motor, and so uh, <laughs> the cats hated it too, so I couldn't use it for a little while. So I decided to uh, take it apart and I'm going to show you what I did and some modifications that I made to it as well. That uh, There was one on the top, one on the bottom. I took them out, replaced the bearings, tested the motor and it worked fairly good. Uh, noticed it was it's still quite slow. I was always noticed that the fan wasn't working that great. Um, when I put the fan in, you never could see what the motor is, uh, the details on the motor. But when I was working on it, I noticed that, whoops, go this way. It's 24 volts DC, not 12. I bought the fan as a 12 volt DC uh, fan uh, with light. I have it uh, in the back. I have a 14 inch one on the front, 11 inch in the back, because uh, it fits in between the uh, ambulance, the uh, cross members. I didn't want to cut those out. And I just, well, looked at the replacement costs and it was $265 just to replace the unit. I wasn't happy with uh, spending that kind of money. So I decided I'm going to get myself a 12 volt to 24 volt uh, converter. This will handle 10 amps, which is no problem. The motor itself I checked out uh, draws uh, one, just under one amp, like 0.98, so close enough. And I got myself a... Uh, 5 amp uh, motor speed control so this will actually I can adjust the uh, current from very low to high speed fan so it'll be low and to high it'll also be able to switch the uh, fan from the circuit already on the board for forward and reverse so I uh, bought the uh, this unit for about $17 two motor speed controls for about $8 and $15 I think for the uh, 20 bearings. So I have lots of spare bearings. That was the lowest amount I could buy. So I can help anybody else out that uh, got a squeaky fan, uh, rebuild the motor for them, and uh, or keep it for a couple for spares in case my other motor ever goes. So I'm total circuit way cheaper than uh, purchasing a new fan. Plus I got the uh, speed control now too. Okay, I've got everything uh, set up here to uh, bench test uh, my system. So I'll put the plate on here, my current meter, whoops, wrong button. DC current, reset it, I got my voltmeter. Just gonna hook up by 12 volts.
I got 13.6 volts there. The output, the transformer, I got 24.17. And uh, so now I'm just going to turn this as off. I'm going to turn the fan switch on. Got my current meter. I'm going to hold the fan just because it'll move. And see if we can see that is drawing 0.57 amps. I'm going to turn it off. Turn it for the other direction. Five seven point six three, so it's working. I can turn down the speed. So, yeah. So now I can put it all back together. Well, I mounted the switch. Let's move this some stuff around. Extended the wires. This has to go inside where the uh, fan is. So I made a little extra wire to uh, have lots of room to play with. And I decided instead of soldering the wires to the plugs here, I'm uh, going to actually uh, put connectors on it so I can remove it, replace it. Uh, just easier to connect to. I'm just going to. both plugs on the transformer for but uh, I always reverse the plugs this way you never know you're never gonna plug it in backwards so if I'm using a transformer or step up step down I always change to make sure I have the male on one side the female on the other side so you know that you're never gonna mess it up when you hook it back up so now I'm gonna uh, just put the connections on where I have the power you can see it I'll uh, in the back I have my uh, where the fans going so I'm just gonna uh, hook up that connection there and uh, we'll come right back well I got the fan in oh Raven we'll just test it out there we go it's a lot better going on and I can also reverse it so what do you think Raven are you happy no more really squealing? Yeah, I think Raven's happy with it. And I can turn it off. Oh, I'm pleased that I have the fan back up there again. It makes a big difference. And like I said, it was squealing like crazy.